Hello everybody again, it is Jason with the Magnetic Squatch. I'm out for another magnet fishing adventure. Today I am back in Palatka, Florida. It's fishing pier behind me. This is the place where a few months ago, a couple months ago I guess it was, I pulled up the gun belt for the M60. So I'm back here because I really believe there's another one down there and there might even be something else right there with it. I could click on it, I could feel it, I just couldn't get it up. Today I have brought with me three of the four boys. You got Zachary, you got Justin, and there's Clay. We're gonna work as a team out here, get up and down this dock, see if we can pull up for you guys. Also, if you're interested in the magnet yourself, please check out the, the link in the description below. Get 10% discount off of any purchases from Brute Magnetics. You will love magnet fishing with these magnets. All right, right off the bat, I am going to give this a shot going for the area where I pulled up the gun belt, the ammo belt. I today, again, I'm using my double-sided 3,600 pound Brute Magnetics Beast, my favorite magnet so far to use. Do have a new 100 foot rope that I just purchased as well. So we're gonna see what we can get down here. And I think I know what we can get. It's just a matter of, can we get it? Here we go. You click on something all right good slowly pull on it don't give it too much of a yank got anything no good just throw it back out there if you feel like there's something there you don't always get it on the first time sometimes when you find something you gotta work at it get it loose from the mud all right well i've got a couple items on the magnet this time let's see what we got And we are back into Nail City over here in Palaka. Well, and a bunch more nails. What you got, bud? Are you down here? No idea. All right, Clay just pulled something up. Let's take a look at what he's got. No idea what this is. This is actually... I'm pretty sure this is what goes on like a little rowboat. Oh. Uh, and the, the oars sit in it when they're rowing. Oh. That's a pretty cool find though. It's been down there for a while. Good yeah. job. You want to keep that or scrap that? Yeah, it's I don't know. all right. Things you want to keep, we need to set aside. Things we're scrapping go in the bucket. There might be something on here. Oh, there is, but it's not what I was after. <laughs> I got a bait net. It's a bait net. Whoa! So all right. Corona. What do we got here? Whoa, look at that. Of course, got the nail. Not really sure what this is though. Whoa, what is that? I don't know, but it's uh, oh, super heavy, super Not hard low. to get off the magnet. Not really sure what this is. Not I don't know. All right. Oh. Actually, this is a magnet. I just threw this in the bucket and it attracted all the... Yeah, it's a magnet of some sort. I don't know if this was somebody's fishing magnet or if this was a magnet that was uh, part of a piece of machinery or something, but it's definitely a magnet. There's something down there I'm snagging and I can get it to come up a little bit, but it won't let go. I just hope I didn't do myself in. All right. I've hooked it right off the bat. Whatever it is, I've hooked it already. Oh. Oh, shoot. One drop down. And I already snagged hold of something. Oh, it's a tire. It's a tire. Oh, you really tire. Oh. Whoa. Careful, careful, careful. Whoa, freeze. It's the top. <laughs> Watch out. Oh, that smells wonderful. Hey. Hey, it's catfish. What the heck is that? A catfish? It's a oh. little fishy. A little friendly. Help, help me. Help me. Back in the water you go. <laughs> you got a little friendly. 
You did say earlier you need to get some new tires. <laughs> I did. Yes. Oh. <laughs> this one though is uh. It's not really what I was going for when I meant tires. No. Well, I feel like I just clicked okay. on something. Wow, I pulled up a full. Did one. I? Oh, I did. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, no, it is shelving bracket. It's a shelving bracket. Yep. All right. All right, guys. We're gonna play the game. Huh? What game? Oh, what? do you think that beer cap is before I flip it over? Bud Light. Corona. Corona. Bud Light. Bud Light. Uh, it's either Budweiser, Bud Light, or Corona. Being that it's I'm going to say Sam Adams. It's not Sam Adams. Just because we I like Sam Adams. Corona! Corona. Oh, you got that there. All right, all right, all right. I just pulled up a knife. A knife. A knife. Oh. What's he got? A knife. No. That's not a knife. That's not a knife. Rocky. This is a knife. And a nail. Wait, where's the knife? It's just a steak knife. Oh. It's just something somebody was using probably for cutting line and whatnot. Or cutting people. Or it could be, you know, no. That, that's definitely below Michael Myers standards. <laughs> Michael Myers is not approved. No, that is not a Michael Myers approved knife. Yeah. Oh, I got red. Looks like every player of the. That's like a dumb. That's a piece of chain. That's a chain link. Looks like every uh, socket. little socket Jaguar yep. player's career cut. <laughs> That's so going in the video. <laughs> what is that, Clay? <laughs> All right, Clay has just found him something heavy. An anchor. anchor. Maybe. I don't know. There's. Using that looks. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was, but yeah, somebody may have been using it as an anchor. It's a mud anchor. Yeah. All right. I don't know. Good catch, Clay. Up! Ah. Uh, I got wood! Yeah, you got the wood. It's just holding on to the wood. An old piece of the dock. You need help? Oh. It's still coming. Whoa, uh, it's there. This thing is full of crabs. You got a little friendlies. Got a bunch of little friendlies. Well, if it's that good fish, if I can find this ammo about and steal it from you, I'm putting it on my wall. Boy? Boy, you You pull that ammo belt up, you're replacing it. With you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a battle cap lid. Uh, Play that game again. What is it? But what? Yeah. I'm going to say Corona. But what? Just because apparently the prize of being right. Corona seems to be the popular drink over here. Whoa, Clay! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the hog was up. A bird, I guess. Hey, you hungry? Ah. That's funny. <laughs> ah. Pigeons! No. Ah. <laughs> Don't look up with your mouth open. <laughs> Oh, it's nice. I'm actually getting to use this grappling hook. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Adventures with Clay. <laughs> Clay, Clay found... Clay's unraveling the river right now. Yeah. The river's going to unravel with all the string that Clay has pulled up. Don't do it too far. Too high. <laughs> I did a thing. Good toss. Zachary. Uh, 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 <laughs> You're walking home. <laughs> You're still pulling it in. There it is. <laughs> he pulled up the full yard. Who would throw that in? That's funny. That's a way to unravel. You see it? That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, so I got Zach over here throwing from where he's sitting and throwing too far and landing on the dock. Now I got Clay standing where he's throwing and throwing over the other side of that dock. How is that possible, Clay? <laughs> hey, it's not drinking water. 
Ay, ay, ay. It never fails to be an adventure when you bring the boys. No, it doesn't. Hey. What? Hey! I found somebody's phone charger. <laughs> Go, you need a phone charger? All right. Somewhere, somewhere there's a fish who can no longer charge their iPhone. Oh, it's an iPhone. It belongs <laughs> right where it belongs in the water. <laughs> Some fish is going to come home after a long day at fish school and go to charge their phone and Mom, phone? <laughs> Mom, where's my phone charger? Ah! All right, I have taken the hook off and I'm back to just using the magnet and bam. Not really sure what this is. It looks like it was maybe the top to something. Just a nails. piece of nails. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, what do we got here? Hey, 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 that's my goodies. You stay away from my treasures. All right, we got some rope that has decided to wrap itself around my rope. That's not how this works. Hey, that's not how any of this works. Okay, this rope is, there we go. Nail. It looks like it was a buckle on something. That's pretty cool. Ooh, a little pulley. That's pretty neat. I like that. And then of course, hey, bottle cap, what is it? Corona. Bud Light. All right, we got a Corona, we got a Bud Light. I'm gonna say Miller. And it's indistinguishable. <laughs> There's nothing on it to tell us what it is, so nobody wins that one. There we go. Oh yeah. Boy, this thing has been down there a long time. Crabbies, crabbies. Holy crap, look at all the friendlies. Friendly. One, two, three, four. They're jumping off. Watch oh. out, right here, five. Oh, you flipped Little one, I probably killed that one. Nope, that one's still alive. There's a little one. Whole bunch of little friendlies. A break. You're taking a break? Yeah. A break? There's no breaks. There's no breaks in magnet fishing. Well, there's also no Kit Kats. So. Well, then nobody gave you a break if there's no Kit Kats. All right, we moved down to the end of the fishing pier. Last time there was some pretty good activity out here. Let's see if we can continue with the, with the good luck out here. All right, we'll pull up on this one. Oh, we got a bait can, it looks like. Some tape and a nail. Nothing too fancy on that one. Oh, we got some more of these old square nails. These are pretty cool. It's like a square spike on it, most. That's pretty cool. Got a couple of these, this one the head's missing off of. What in the world is this? Not really sure what this is, but uh, looks like, well, I don't know. I don't even know where to go. Not really sure what this is, guys. Just a piece of angle iron of some sort. All right, I've been pulling something from about 20 foot out there. Some pretty good weight on it. What do we got? Oh, it looks like we just got us a. Oh, a rake. Well, how about that? Well, that's an interesting very interesting find out here all right i just pulled up a pocket knife a super old wow 
the blades are like completely corroded on this one but that's pretty neat and it looks like it was open when it went down to the water the blade's gone but all right we got us a pocket knife all right we are pulling something else up from the bottom here it's <laughs> This is two weeks in a row I've pulled up handles to jumper cables. And nails. All right, guys. Let's see what we got on this one. Whoa! 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 Holy crap! <laughs> That's awesome! Wow. <laughs> that is huge. It is. Hey, you remember the earlier, that's not a knife, this is a knife? That wasn't a knife. Oh, this is a knife. Is it a knife? Or oh my God, knife that is awesome. Yeah, it still closes somewhat. Let that sit in water for a little bit. Oh my goodness. That's not a knife. That's the knot. Rocky. Mud. Alright, what do we got though? Mud. That's not just mud. Mud. What is that? Mud. That's a hammer head. <laughs> That's the head to a hammer. <laughs> That's a pretty cool find. That means the rest of the hammer's down there, but it's probably wooden, which means it's staying down there. Oh my, what in the world? That's big. I need over here. All right, first off, a big old square head spike. That is pretty sweet right there. Then also, this is wire cable. Stuff like this is great to get up out of the water. All right, well, we're done at this spot. We're going to move on to another spot, but first we're going to go get some lunch. Next time you see us, we'll be bellies full and at another location. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back from lunch. We have moved down the boardwalk a little bit here. We're at a fishing pier, fishing dock area. A little bit closer to the bridge. I don't know how well you can see it, but that fishing pier down there is where we were at before where the boats are. We're gonna give this spot right here a try. We're gonna see what we can do down here. See if we can catch some amazing finds for you. Here at our last stop in Palatka today. All right, I've moved off of the little fishing pier over there to this little boat dock. I don't know how much boats actually pull up in here, but see a lot of people do fishing off of here as well and if we do get boats pulling up in here there's no telling what people are dropping off the side of their boats all right well we got some finds on this one what do we got here we got a can and a bud light cap all right this is probably the third or fourth one of those today i'm not sure all right, I have latched onto something super heavy. I don't know if I'm going to need the hook for it or not, but right now I'm getting it up. It's so deep here. Holy crap. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> that is a massive thick cable. Wow. Goodness gracious. All right. All right guys, we are done out here in Palaka. We have been at it since 10 o'clock this morning and it is after four o'clock in the afternoon. That's a long day, a little lunch break in there. But let me give you another shot of this place. It is so beautiful out here. This is the St. John's River where it goes through Palaka. Nice little park over here. Really a very beautiful place. 
I really enjoy coming back out here. I'm pretty sure there will be some more videos from here. I'm actually really sure of that. However, if you like what you saw today, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will be notified when more of my videos are coming out. And also, if you want to get yourself a magnet like I was using today, I'm using the Brute Magnetics 3600 double side magnet, 1800 pound pull on each side. It's an awesome magnet. Works for me very well. The link will be down in the description or you can use my coupon code at checkout TMS10. Now let me get to what we found today. So we found some pretty cool things today up out of the water. A big old wire right here. I think that is the heaviest wire I have pulled up out of the water before. Pulled up some of these tin cans. I think they uh, either use these for chum, not sure. This right here, I think this may have been part of an automobile, but it's heavy. They put wire around it like they were using it as a sinker. It's like a piece of a file that was pulled up out of the water. This right here, it's a big old chain link. And then of course we got a bait net. It's just a L bracket here, but it was a good find. This thing right here, I don't know what this was. This is a magnet. So uh, I'm gonna get this back, get it cleaned up, and see if it's something that I can use for anything. Got a little catfish bell, spoon, four knives I pulled up out of the water. Yeah, that's right. Four for the Squatch, zero for the other boys. <laughs> All right, back to the rundown. Got a hammerhead. One of these old square head spikes. These things are super old and they're really cool to find. Here's another big one. The tip's missing off of this one, but these square head spikes are really cool. This is a little oar handle. You put this in the boat and your oars go in it for your little uh, paddle boats. You got some O-rings. This right here used to be part of a pulley system. The uh, wheel is missing out of it. And then this looks like it was a gear to something. I don't know, uh, but it's a pretty cool find as well. I gotta say all in all, I think today was a pretty good day. Had fun hanging out with the boys. We have had a long day. I wanna say thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for all of your support. We got Christmas coming up. So I wanna say Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year. I hope you get to spend some amazing time with your family and your friends. Love you all. Stay squatchy, y'all.